Hey, it's your boy DJ Wolf on a sunny day. Thank goodness. I like it like that. Anyway, uh, just had a couple of things on my mind. Um, I was, uh, was looking at, uh, a couple of things. One on, uh, the local news channel was talking about, uh, Stephen Curry played for the Gold State Warriors, and he, he uh, his little three-year-old daughter had wished him a happy birthday, and I thought it was so uh, fun yet touching because when you see things like that of a uh, 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 brother who's trying to be about the business of being uh, his grind as well as he uh, try to be about being a father, I mean, that's a good thing. You don't see a lot of that in the media. I like to see more and more of that. You know, I just had to bring that up. I, I thought that was very, very sweet. I really did. And it was another one of a picture of a, a guy with his daughter uh, talking about the strong bond as a father and a daughter, you know, and uh, on blackamericanweb.com. You might want to check that out. Um, Because I think the media plays upon people's fears. There's no question about that. From things like the Ebola virus to uh, Donald Trump. You know. To the play up of the Democratic uh, Party, which is another story. I'll go into that later. And, of course, when it comes to us, they, you never see images of that, but those are daily occurrences that happen all the time. The problem is, it's not enough of us being involved in our children's lives to validate what we were doing all along. Taking care of our own. You know, you want, but the problem is our communities want uh, others to validate what we have the shortcomings on. To me, that's bullshit. Excuse my French. You know, you want, in other words, you say, well, we have positive image of fathers with the kids, but we don't have enough fathers doing that with the kids. That's the whole point. You know, we if we have enough real men out there on the grind, on the real grind, taking care of the kids and not fronting because you got four or five kids that you don't see, okay, I think things would change in terms of attitudes of what people uh, view. But some of us wants to validate certain ones to say that represents everybody, and it don't. It don't. It's a lie. You know? Too many of these so-called men out here in communities aren't taking care of their responsibilities. But by the same token, the same women who call those men out are the same women who allow these guys to go out there and do what they do without the women calling them to task and as well as the women not taking their responsibilities to take care of themselves and their bodies without not allowing every time a Dick and Harry to get with them all the time. When I say about all the time, I'm talking about uh, having multiple kids by different fathers. Okay, this is what goes on in our communities all the time. I gotta call that out. But the thing of it is, I noticed that these some of these pro blacks they call about what the government should be doing, but yet meantime you won't call about responsibilities that people should be doing in general. I never hear them say that. You know, I never hear them say anything about planned pregnancies. I never hear them say about. Teenagers to practice. I, I rarely hear that from pro blacks. I rarely hear that. You know. But I think personally, we need to do a better job of being responsible for our actions and going out there and getting the education. I'm gonna tell you right now, and I don't care what anybody say, education is the key. It is the key. I don't give a damn what anybody say. It's the only way. In 2016, there is no reason, and I repeat, there is no reason for our young people not to be educated today. You know? 
but you got to instill that in the in the families of the people who are raising these kids, man. You know, this is what's going to get stop stop all this mess that's going on out here, man. And until that happens, it's going to be same or some of the same old same old bullshit that people complain about every day. No jobs, single mothers, multiple kids, no fathers. You know, when are we going to make a dialogue about what we need to be doing instead of what somebody else needs to be doing for you? You know, because that 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 old song and dance is getting old. It's getting old. It's getting real old. And if not, you're practicing the slavery mentality. Because remember, during slavery, you had all these single mothers with multiple kids and no father because the fathers was out there working for somebody else, not for the families. This is DJ Wolf. I got more to say about this and other subjects on the back burner. I may do the show tonight. Um, got other couple of things I got to take care of, but it's DJ Wolf. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign off for right now for all of here at gmail.com. All to here.